everyone, I'm Nettie Kay. Welcome back to my studio. Today we're going to have some fun in putting the design onto our little green ginger pot and our red vase. And you're going, well that doesn't look like a red vase. No, it doesn't. It looks a little bit like a terracotta vase, doesn't it? So what I, I did was I put our tunnel values underneath in that kind of a warm uh, terracotta look. And then I'm going to now put a glaze of kind of alizarin crimson and some cadmium reds over the top with a translucent uh, medium, which is our medium of uh, Neo Megelp. Now you can use liquid and all kinds of different uh, mediums if you like, but uh, it, you want to make it kind of a translucent. I use a translucent paint and then I also add some extra translucency with the medium and I'll show you that in just a few minutes. But before we do, I do want to remind you to go on to my Etsy site at nettykstudio.etsy.com. I know I sound like a commercial, but right now I'm running a little special on a couple of dog portraits. And so if you're needing to buy a gift for somebody, this would be the time to do that. It would really be uh, helpful to me and then we can just keep on filming our lessons. Wouldn't that be fun? I also have a few paintings available there uh, for those that are looking for something for your wall. Yeah, so now let's get going on uh, on our uh, pot right here and I'm going to take a uh, just a nice soft brush and make sure it's nice and clean and here on my palette I have a layout of um, just some various colors. So now I'm going to take some of my my uh, medium, my gel medium, I'm going to pick this up just for a second. My hands aren't very strong so I got to be careful with this, but um, this is our gel medium down here. Okay, and I'm going to go into this, uh, the, the alizarin crimson right here, and I'm going to mix a little bit of that with the gel medium, and it's very, very, very transparent. And Let's see what we can do when we hit it to the canvas. All right, check this out. All right, I'm going to come right up here, and you can see this looks really uh, just in the orange realm, and I'm going to take that, that wonderful uh, alizarin crimson, and I'm going to put that over the top of this. And, and I'm going to show you how much you can see through it just by going over the whole thing. Whoa, and I'm going to come up underneath here. This is going to have to be darkened a little bit. You don't have to be too fussy with it if you go over the background, you know, over into the background. Uh, who cares? You can wipe it right back off again because it's dry underneath. Isn't that great? So now we have the, uh, the darks, middle tones, and lights that we have established underneath uh, with our previous painting. And this is what oil painting is all about, you guys, is layers of translucent color and you can see there's the light coming back through. And all I've got on here is a lizard and crimson and a little bit of, of a gel medium. And it's not like I'm adding more colors to it. And then I'm going to go around that nice green pot. And we'll just cover that all up. And I'm going to come up into the neck so that you can actually see what I'm talking about. We're going to go, I'm going to go right into that because we're going to paint right. Oops, that was a little bit wet still there on the highlight. That's okay. We'll reestablish that. And uh, we'll pull that around like this. And you know, you can still make all kinds of interesting corrections because that's the uh, wonderful part of, of uh, oil painting. All right, there we go. And I'm going to put a little bit of that glaze over into the apple over here on the, the dark side of the apple. And I'm, I'm literally, I'm just slopping it on. I'm not worried about, you know, I'm not worried about anything. It's going right into the. Uh, right into the background on over here because this is super loose, super loose. You want to paint super loose sometimes. Ooh, now that really made a nice difference. I'm now going to take a little bit of my paper towel and I'm going to come in here and take out just a tiny bit of that and rub it in a little bit like that so that we still have our light. Oh my goodness, isn't that rich and beautiful? Yes, it is. Now you can do the same kind of thing over here in your greens by using a translucent, uh, maybe a, uh, you know, you could get into a little bit of sap green, that's a very translucent color, that sort of thing. But for right now, I'm just going to show you a little bit on to the red on this. All right, so now the next thing I want to do, I've got a few little spots that I really want to uh, deal with, which is uh, this area right in here where it, I'm going to uh, create a little more illusion of light and I'm going to remember it's all kind of hitting at the same spot and so I want to tidy up 
just a bit. I don't want to get too tight though, you guys. I just want to create uh, a little bit more of the actual structure so that it doesn't look like it's all going all over the place again. And so I'm going to come down in here and I want to put in a little bit of light right there. You can see how nice and warm that light is. I, I want to avoid getting a, a cool light uh, on this one because this is really all about uh, remaining kind of in the warm realm. And so in, wherever I've got this kind of cool light out, I, I want to kind of back it up and put a little bit of white with um, some yellow ochre in it. And that's what, what I just set down on here. And then I'm going to do the very same thing to start with. I'm going to replace some of our highlights here by putting a little bit of yellow ochre and white right there. And you can see how beautiful that is. Now I'm going to come in with just the yellow ochre all by itself. Got a little bit of white on it, but not too much. And I'm going to establish this beautiful gold lip around the, uh, I hope you can see it. I keep putting my arm in the way and I apologize and my hand in the way. So I'm putting a little bit of yellow ochre with white in order to get this illusion of a gold rim on the top. I'm not using gold metallic paint, everybody. I'm just using uh, yellow ochre with white. It's magic, yeah, okay. Now, uh, let's see if, I, if we want to get into just a little bit of, of pattern here. And so I'm going to take that same uh, uh, yellow ochre with white, and I'm going to come over to the light side of my pot, and I'm going to throw in just a few marks here and there. And I need to really take a look at what I'm, I'm looking at when it comes to the pattern. Uh, there's a little bit of a thing going around the neck a little bit like this. And so remember, this is kind of light uh, light gold. So I want to keep that onto the light side of the, of the pot. So I'm just kind of giving a little bit of an indication of, of some uh, light, light pattern right there. And then it's got an interesting little crisscross. So I'm going to come out like this. And we'll put in uh, some... Wow, is this ever interesting. It, it goes like this, and I'm just flipping some, some pattern on like that, and then it comes over here a little bit. This starts getting a little bit darker, so I should probably grab, well, it's going to mix in a little bit with the, um, um, with the, uh, the red that's down, so it won't be too bad, and we'll be putting on just a few little marks here and there. And so it's just kind of, oh man, is this ever an interesting little bit of a design right here. Okay, and then on that side, I'm going to get a little bit lighter with the yellow ochre, and we'll do another little bit of uh, pattern like this coming out. I'm going to correct this a little bit later, everybody, but uh, for now, this is kind of how I'm doing this. And I'm going to come out like that. So it looks like there's a little bit of design. Isn't that neat? So remember, darker on one side, middle tone light. You don't put a big light design on the back side uh, in the dark. You want to keep it nice and light uh, on the light side and dark uh, darker on the dark side. Just saying. All right. So now, this is a fleur de lis kind of thing. So I'm just going to make some little. Uh, swoopy marks like that. I'm not getting too crazy. And then uh, over here we'll get back into this basic color right here. I'm talking and <laughs> talking at the same time of trying to focus on what this actually looks like. And so I've just got just a few. You see as it's wet I start from the light side with my little marks and then on my brush, it starts getting a little more of the alizarin crimson in it, and uh, that all works out good. So I'm going to just do a little bit of a swoosh there, swoosh there. There's tons of pattern on it. I don't have to put all the pattern on. No, I don't. I can just put in some of the pattern and not all of the pattern. That's the key to making it look as though it's loose. And you can make up your own pattern. It's not a, not a big deal. This one kind of comes over. There's a pattern that goes on top of it. And there's one that comes on top like this, like that. And it just looks, uh, looks like, uh, and your brain kind of fills it all in, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so now I'm going to come back in over here and I'm wiping my brush off. 
Uh, let's see what kind of pattern I got here. I'm going to start out with a, a little bit of a, a center flower, just a little mark like that. I'm looking at some of the basic shapes on here. And uh, we've got a couple of leaves that go this way and some little leaves that kind of go this way. I'm not doing a, a transfer or anything. You know, that doesn't work all the time. It works with my ball jars. Now, we'll be doing some ball jars, you know, those wonderful canning jars here pretty soon. That'll be fun. And I'm going to show you a couple of techniques that are not loose, but more tight, because I know some of you guys love that illusion of real on there. And then I'm going to take this cobalt blue with a little bit of uh, white, and I'm just going to put a little stem right here. And after that, oh, I want to make this just a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger here. So I'm not getting fussy. I'm just staying nice and loose. So I've got a center of the flower here. I've got a couple of leaves, one, two, and there's another one, another leaf over here. So I'll put that other leaf right here like that. So a little bit of a leaf there. And then there's a red mark underneath it. So I'm going to take a little cadmium red and we'll put this around right there. I think I want to go cadmium red light. So I'm going to move that up just a bit. Put a little cadmium red light as it goes around there. And then there's a little flower up here like this. So I'm going to put just a little flower there just a bit. And then one kind of coming around here a little bit. So there's just a little bit of red. It's not too much, just a little bit. And then uh, the center of the flower, oh, there's some yellow. So I'm going to take some of that bright lemon yellow onto my brush. And we'll put in, especially in the lights, I'm going to put in another little indication of a little petal there. And I don't want to get too light in that dark side, so I'm going to have to modify that just a tiny bit. Like that. There's a little bit of yellow in the center right there of that flower. And, you know, I mean, nobody's going to see this ginger pot, you guys, so you just do what you want to do, right? You don't have to make it exact. In fact, I'm going to put in uh, a slightly darker, so I'm going to add some yellow ochre to my uh, yellow, my super light yellow. I'm going to add some yellow ochre and I'm going to darken it just a little bit as it comes around. It's even I could even go darker than that. That would probably be helpful. So I'm making it just a little bit darker there. As it goes back, I think I want to go slightly darker than that. So what am I going to do? Um, I'm going to put in a tiny bit of our cadmium red. I know that sounds a little bit weird. You can use some raw sienna or some burnt sienna. That would work too. So a little bit of our dark cadmium red to make that look a little more like it's going back into space like this. Okay, put a little doodad like that. Maybe a couple more of those little flowers. And I want to take some of our alizarin crimson with some teal. And I'm going to make some purple. Okay, so behind this flower, I've got a little bit of purple. A little purple like that. And then I'm going to put a, I think I'll put another uh, bit of purple. Well, I'm going to take some purple around the edges of, of each one of these leaves because this is a, a pattern that's got this on it. Okay, so now wiping my brush off, going back into my purple. And then I'll take around the outside. This is a leaf. I'm going to just go na -na 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 -na, like that, a little jiggle, jiggle, jiggle and wipe it off again. Purple, something right down the center, like that. Really, really loose. Okay, and then I'm going to come around like this with that purple. That's going to be kind of nice. I like it. A little bit, let's see, we'll go around here. You know, I should do one that's loose and one that's super tight so that you can see the difference. And uh, I'll tell you what the difference is. The difference is it takes a long time. It takes a long time to do that super tight detail. And, you know, I know we all admire somebody who can do all that super tight detail. But really, if you can get past it and finally learn how to, uh, to not do the detail and get kind of an illusion, that's where the real art comes in, everyone. Yeah. 
going to take a little bit of that dark purple right now and I'm going to take and make this rim underneath. I need a little bit of medium. And um, I'm going to make a rim in between here. There's a there's a, a mark that goes there and then one on the top. I'm liking this a lot. I want to put in a, another little yellow dot right in the middle of that. And I think I want to put just another little bit of uh, sort of purple leaves right here. Little purple leaves like this. Okay. And uh, let's see. Oh, I want to come back up now and put in. See, I've got this gold rim right here. And what I want to do is now I'm going to put in a little bit of a highlight with some light, with some slightly off white, but not too off. I want just a little bit of a nice sheen. And this highlight's bugging me a little bit. I really think I want to go back into that yellowish. Yeah, yellow. Oh, good Lord. What did I just do? I just lost control. Okay, there we go. I, I want to go back in and put a little bit of the uh, yellow ochre. Not quite so bright. Okay, yellow ochre in white. Like that. I'm just stroking it down. And I'm going to tone that one down just a little bit. Have it go over the, the pattern a little bit. And then I'll come back in with a little lighter part just in the center of it. So it's just just barely barely hitting it like that. Where do I see some more highlight as it comes out? Just a little bit right there. Now I'm going to work that back with a little bit of our glazing medium so that it doesn't look quite so huge. Highlights, we start them out really big. And then we go back in and work them back down again. So I'm just realizing, don't be using your fingers, you guys, but I am today, sorry. Like this, come back around, take my little um, eh, little clean edge of my towel, go back in and correct it a little bit like that. And I'm seeing one other bit of pattern that I really like, so I'm going to put this in. And so I'm going to take our yellow ochre again, and I'm going to make a little, a little thing that goes like this around the neck like that. And then it comes down like that as it goes back into space. And then we'll put in just a nice bit of a rim there. I think I actually want to make this rim kind of go around like that a little bit. Yes. So it looks like it's really a seriously gold thing. On top of that, this has got a gold part right here. So I'm going to go in with a, uh, a gold part of the neck right here. This is so much fun. This is really, really a lot of fun. And so now I'll go back into our yellow ochre again. Uh, this is all I've got really is yellow ochre and, and alizarin crimson going on. And so we'll put that little pattern like this. And then I want to go at the bottom. Let's get some more yellow ochre and uh, and really make it nice and bright right here. Yellow ochre with white. There. So you see it's darker on one side than it is on the other. And then I'll pull this around like this so that it looks like it's not just paint slopped on. And uh, I have another little pattern. Uh, let's see, we'll go like this. I'm going to take this and clean this up like that. Like that. That's interesting. Okay, let's see. A little more of the yellow ochre with white. Maybe a tiny bit of our lemon yellow. And make a nice... Oh, this is actually needs to come all the way down through. <laughs> Gosh, you guys, what am I doing? Okay, now I'm going to work this back in. Wiping my brush off. Work it back in a little bit. So it's not just a big stripe. Like that. Okay, that's really, really fun. 
All right, I really love how this painting is turning out. It's so nice and loose and juicy. Uh, I'm going to do just a few more corrections, but not too much. Pray that I don't overwork it. I'm trying very hard as a mature artist not to overpaint things, meaning not to get into so much tiny detail that I'm trying to make it look like a photograph. I know some of you younger artists or some of you new artists are really working hard at trying to make something look like a photograph, and that's okay too. But as we mature, some of us decide that we want to be more painterly, and that's where I am right now. So I hope you'll join me next time. And again, uh, this one will be finished up very shortly, and we'll go ahead and put it on my Etsy site at nettykstudio.etsy.com, where there are other paintings as well. Another little commercial. So that's how we eat. Okay, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and share with your friends. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.